At the start of the year, a new Arkansas law went into effect banning vaccine mandates at state-funded organizations. But now, a recent federal mandate for health care workers could change requirements at places like UAMS. And TGB 11 Sarah Hobakowitz breaks down how these laws could affect you. Earlier this month, the U.S. Supreme Court approved a vaccine mandate for health care workers of Medicaid and Medicare patients. But that contradicts state regulations on vaccine requirements. Now state funded health centers like UAMS are working with legislators to try and figure out which rules to follow. While some patients don't care about their doctor's vaccination status, and a few even preferred them not to have the shot, others told us they want that extra layer of protection. Is it important to you that your doctor be vaccinated? It is to me only because I have a one-year-old son who can't get vaccinated. As parents like Taylor hope to avoid sometimes uncomfortable conversations. I really feel like some people think it's like a personal issue like don't ask, don't tell kind of thing. So I don't ask. I just kind of hope that they are. The Supreme Court ruling could answer that question by making all Medicaid and Medicare funded health providers get the shot. But for providers that also take state funding like UAMS, a vaccine mandate could actually break Arkansas law. UAMS declined to go on camera, but in a statement told THV 11, they'll be working with the Legislative Council to navigate the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services vaccine mandate. They're asking for the state to exempt them from the state law that says you cannot implement a mandate. This puts UAMS in a bind, risking the loss of staff who don't want the shot, or on the other hand, losing over $600 million a year in Medicaid and Medicare funding. And council members are just as torn in their enforcement of the federal ruling. I am not for a mandate on the vaccine. Um, and but we are being and our hands are tied by our federal government when it comes to funding for these programs. But despite individual feelings on vaccination, one big question remains. Do those entities follow federal law or do they follow state law first? Members of the legislative committee that I spoke to today say they expect to cover this issue with a vote on Friday. For now, reporting in Little Rock, Sarah Hobakowitz, THV 11 News.